what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video so today we are back with another battlefield 2042 map so i can give you the tips and tricks that i know about it and today we're here in haven so haven is the last map the 2042 ever got if we actually don't consider stadium as a standalone map so in haven you've got like five objectives and some of these objectives are not really complicated and some of them are actually there are some tricks to almost all of them but some of them are not just as complicated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a site. Here we've got a lot of uh, contesting area. As you can see, uh, it's actually a bigger site than almost any site in this map. Probably not bigger than me, but bigger than every other site in the map. So there are some mistakes that people actually make, and I don't want you to be a part of that mistake as well. A lot of people tend to find, like camp here and hide themselves around here. This is a place where every single time I come here, I just pre-fire that first and then do whatever else I want to do. So this is a common place that you want to avoid being in. What you're going to do instead is being around here. So this way you are literally just unpredictable compared to that corner right there. And there's also a small line of sight here that you can have. As you can see, you can cover almost all this area of the map. So anyone pushing you from there or like trying to hold you from there is going to be dead. It's going to be really hard for anyone here to, to hit you because you're literally just head glitched. So it's, it's a it's a pretty decent corner right there. One more important thing that you see a lot of people playing here, this is actually a worthwhile place to play. Uh, you're, if, if Let's say this is the enemy base, people will literally just rush you from here and you've got the high ground, you're literally head glitched and everyone trying to push you from here is going to be cut off easily. So this is actually a good place to be. Now a lot of people tend to do something like this as well. Uh, for LMGs or people who want to like do stuff like this with Crawford and all that, this is a good place to be. But if you also have an LMG and you want to just lay down some suppressive fire, it's an interesting place as well. The only problem here is that your whole body is visible. Uh, you're like an easier target for snipers in that building, for example. Generally speaking, it's not a bad place to be as well. Also, if you want to have a faster way up this building, all you're going to do is jumping here, go on this bags, and then jump straight up and you're going to be up here in no time. There's also a very interesting place if you're being pushed from here and you don't want to have that high ground or like be in sight for snipers. There's this place as well. So you have two lines of sight here for this one. First of all, just get rid of that bag right there because it's going to hurt you a lot. Just like this. So you've got this line of sight. Anyone pushing from there is going to be cut down by you with literally no effort. Like there is no way someone can hit you from there. Impossible. And if someone's trying to push from around here, you just get up and you are in a hit glitch position with all of your body being behind this cover and your line of sight being almost extreme. So there's, there's no one that can actually deny you while trying to push here. Everyone will be seen by you. So that's another thing to know. Also, a lot of people hide around here or maybe even here. These places are turning into like the common sense places for people to be. So try not to be there. As a replacement, this might be a better place. You can also sometimes peek from here, but you're, you're, you've got cover from your back. No one sees you around here. And it's just m more unpredictable compared to this part of the map. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, also, there are people playing here always like nine out of 10 times people play here, but most of them just do not utilize this object as a good cover. So what I mean by that is you playing like this. You should always try to use cover if if it's possible. And this is one of the possibilities here. You've got this cover, bulletproof, use it as a protective shield for yourself and anytime you you just feel the need, you can get up, start shooting and go down. Just like this. And it's a very versatile cover as well. You can just peek from every every direction you want. So uh, feel free to use this as well. Instead of like being here or like staying behind this, hiding in the corner, try to make use of those as well. Now let's take a look at D site. D is a very big site to be honest. Like look at the contesting area. It's huge. You can you can be like all the way from here to the other side. So so it's a huge site and there's a lot to be discussed here. First of all, if you want to just play a cool like be out of the fight and all that you can just simply start contesting side from here like this even in here you can do that and it's a very interesting place to be because uh, you have eyes on almost anywhere except from up there and uh, you're basically head glitched and anyone trying to push you has little to no cover so this is a very good spot to be just playing it safe but if you want to be uh, a bit more aggressive and be in the core of the fight um, this is the place for you this cover right here gives you a head glitch advantage and if you're just sure about your back, like no one's flanking 
flanking you from here, this is a great place to be to be able to cut people down that try to push you and try to keep the site for themselves. This is also another good place. It's similar to that one with a bit more risk. This is a risky place, but uh, you get a lot more compared to that one. So you have more lines of sight. You have more of the map in your range. You also have eyes on this building right here, which is not able to be seen from back here. A lot of people tend to play in this house for some reason. They feel like it's a safe place or something. I don't really recommend being here unless it's absolutely necessary. Like if the other part of the site is contested by the enemy and this is the only place for you, then it's fine. But if you have choices, literally this is the worst thing you can choose. So don't be around there too much. Also, this is another good place. Again, if you are sure about your back, this is another good place. You have eyes on this house. Anyone coming from there is going to be cut off by you. And you can also just move around like this and make lines of sight for yourself. Also, there's this little building here. You don't really want to uh, just limit yourself to a small building like this. But if you're being shot at and you have nowhere else to go, just coming inside here, uh, waiting a few seconds and just going out to a better place is, is not a bad idea. So do also keep that in mind. Other parts of the site are literally just not safe. For example, you see some people playing here. It's not really a safe place, to be honest. Like, you can be shot at from almost any direction. So don't really try to do that. Also, you can still contest the site here, but be in a safer place. Like, if I want to have a setup like this, I would almost have eyes on all of the site from this direction. So this is a better place uh, compared to the inside of the building. So don't... I don't really want to be in there ever. So anywhere but here is fine, even even though uh, this is not the perfect place, but it's w way better than inside the building. Also, you should take note that this place is heavily uh, vulnerable when it comes to people playing here and even up there. The place is huge, it's open, there's not much cover, and people from height advantage can really hurt you. So if you're coming to contest this place, clearing here first and then going down the site is going to be a better thing to do, really. Now let's take a look at C site. C, in my opinion, is the most important site of the map, and I have good reasons for that. First of all, this is in the middle of the map, meaning that you can access D from here, you can access B from here, you can easily go to E. It's basically a route for other objectives. That's how you can describe it. And you should have this in your mind that there are two main height advantage buildings here that can really hurt you if you are playing down there. One of them is this building right here. As you can see, the line of sight is crazy here. Like, look at this. You almost have eyes on all of the site or even around the site. This is a place you want to contest and you want to make sure that there is no one playing in here and then get down into C. The other high advantage building that can really hurt you is this yellow one on the other side. From this small window right up to the top, people have ridiculous lines of sight around here. All of the site, all of it. And it's really safe because getting up here uh, from down there is going to be really hard. There are so many angles that you have to take care of before you can get up here. So these two buildings, this one and the red one on the other side, are two main buildings that should be cleared before you jump into the site and try to contest it. So that's something you should keep in mind. Inside, you can actually contest the site from here. This is not the perfect place to be. Sometimes, depending on the situation, I would say it's kind of a safe place to be. Sometimes. You can also contest the site from here as well. If you if you are like playing Irish, you can place like a shield and a sentinel around yourself so people can't actually frag you out here. It's going to be a cool place to be. Also, the fastest way up here, if you're not McKay, let's say, is just doing this. Look. You're up. So if I do it again, you're going to come up here, here, and then here. Simple as that. Fast access to this building if there's like people here trying to pin you down. So keep that in mind. If you're trying to contest a site, this is a good place to be if you are literally sure about uh, this yellow house right here. Because if there are people in there, you're going to be dead in no time. This is a good place to play. This is another good cover to play. Your head glitch for people that push you from here and also from here. And some people also play here and uh, they're uh, kind of partially invisible. I wouldn't really uh, prefer to play here most of the times I just do something like this this way you can also cut people down that try to push the side from B uh, so yeah it's a it's an interesting place to be apart from that I wouldn't recommend playing anywhere else on this side especially I would try to avoid being here in the middle all the time because you're just an easy target for anyone in the site one good place to play here is also behind this car it's literally just bulletproof people can't really cut you down that easily and it's a good place to be okay so moving
moving on to b-side for b-side as well having this house cleared is really important because they have like unlimited access to the site like they just jump down and they're inside and that's gonna hurt you if there are like people with radio beacons in that building so clearing that out is like a priority to you after that and when you are inside you should always keep in mind that this white building right here is the most important one in this whole site and this is an easy way to get in you just jump on this one another jump and you're in one thing you should remember when you're trying to contest this site and like capturing it from the enemy one common place for enemies to spawn is like behind this uh, small uh, blue building i'm gonna take a look there and show it to you most of the times they spawn around here because for some reason uh, people in dice thought this is a safe place and as soon as they push they see you like head glitch there maybe there maybe even in that uh, small window right there and you should always uh, keep in mind that holding that small little building is key for basically capturing this site and most of the times people do actually spawn from here even if you are like aiming for them waiting on them to, to just come out people just spawn here. it's how the game works it's how the map works and if it is what it is then you should take advantage from it so just keep that in mind also these are the different uh, lines of sight that you can make for yourself even down here there's a small window that's not bad like uh hitting hitting someone here is going to be really hard for anyone coming from there unexpected head glitch small window everything is on your side so do make sure to take advantage all right up this building you have enough cover to hide yourself from anyone pushing from here and anyone trying to push you from around here so it's not a bad place it's not the best of places but it is also somewhere to consider like camping or uh holding the site until you completely clear it or capture also you see some people just coming around playing in here it's not a bad place to hide yourself really honestly uh there's a lot of smoke around here not a lot of people expect you to be inside here but uh, this is not a place that you can be like 24 7. this is a place that you should uh, get get in here uh try to confuse the enemy team and just get out so don't be around here too long also most of the times there are snappers up this hill so if you want to be able to contest the site easier it's, it wouldn't be bad for one of your squad mates to take a look here check for snappers if there's someone take them down and then you're you're going to be uh like having an easier time trying to capture the objective and now let's take a look at e site in my opinion in terms of uh, like the layout e is the simplest site in the whole map haven uh there's not really a lot you can do here basically if this is the enemy base uh there are a few things you can do so inside these uh buses we've got one here and one on the other side inside it's safe i would say we have like cover here enough to give us the head glitch situation right here uh and the lines of sight are absolutely great you can almost have everything under control here but if you want a solid cover i would say this is the place for you and the same applies on the other side of the map uh, and you see a lot of people actually doing something like this this is also good you've got head glitched you have uh, like a, more cover even so this is not a bad place if you are actually sure about what's going on behind you if people are like pushing you from like b and c uh this is a good place to be i would say it's a nice one and on the other side this is also a good place to camp it out be head glitched and have eyes on people pushing you also you see a lot of people playing in these containers like people play here this is a common place that i want you to avoid as much as possible most of people when they come here the first place they literally check is inside this container and inside this container and there's also this place if you're being pushed from around here you can just simply be here take cover go down get up as you want and things will be fine for you also having this uh, building clear for contesting this site is vital so you always have to pay attention uh, whether or not there is someone here and if the answer to that is positive then you have to go up there and just clear it out first and then come back and contest the site so this was everything I knew about Haven. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope this was helpful. Do make sure to comment down below. Let me know uh, if you enjoy these type of videos or not. Let me know what map do you want to see uh, in the upcoming videos. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, stay cool.